So I wanted to speak about my experiences uh, regarding conduct of this uh, course on thermodynamics. And as I just said some, to somebody that everybody cannot be Professor Gaitonde or Professor Fatak. Somebody can be Professor Atri also, <laughs> who possibly is a normal teacher. I mean, uh, uh, and therefore, uh, my sharing of notes may also help many of you, wherein somebody is taking, Professor Gaitonde is taking possibly 60 percent load of this course. And two of us are sharing the other remaining 20, 20 percent each, two weeks each out of 12 weeks. Sometimes I feel to give two weeks course is difficult because by the time I think I am becoming expert, it is time to go, go back again. By the time uh, uh, somebody comes in the third week, he is actually a better teacher as far as facing a camera only in front of you and not having students around you is concerned. It is a very difficult task to teach in front of a camera which everybody of you I am sure can appreciate. Although I have done 42 lectures on NPTEL while doing on MOOCs, I still felt uh, I am not used to this kind of uh, environment where there are no students and therefore there is no immediate feedback to all of us. However, my some notes of concern, I am sure all of you will be tempted after listening to Professor Fatak and Professor Gaitonde that one should go for it. Yes, we should go for it, but at the same time, this is not a very simple thing also. One has to commit the time that is required for this, for which lot of background work has to be done. If the course uh, is of 3 months, your background was of also should be of, of the order of 3 to 4 months before you sort of take such courses. And what is important is although there is one person who is going to giving a course or two persons giving the courses, there is big team behind you which is working and which is working full time, which is working all the time. So you do more mistakes, they will also do more mistakes and therefore your ultimate attention on what transpires, what happens during the delivery of the courses at the same time the editing, the transcript, the quizzes there after are very, very important legs of these courses. So actually the work required possibly here is import is on many folds and one has to be actually aware of the fact that there could be mistakes done by all other non-technical person who do not know thermodynamics or who do not know C++ also. So that is a very important message that I got that you have to really see all the things to the minutest detail. You have to check ultimately we are the owner of the courses and everybody else can do the mistake, but we cannot do the mistake because we are delivering the course. But there is a huge team behind you which is working all the time, they are bound to make mistakes, but then therefore we have to go through that the iterative process actually always works and maybe the iteration could be of the order of 2 or 3 if required. So importantly I feel that before committing for such courses, we have to do these courses, but before committing you, see, you should see that you are not doing anything else but this. If you are doing the full time, full 3 month course, you should not be really bothered about many other things which normally you are expected to look after. Also I realized that the feedback which I got from a regular class because whatever I had preferred for edX or MOOCs here, I tried to use the same material to teach my regular class on thermodynamics. So before that I was using the entire blackboard for the first month and then I used for the second when I am talking about properties of fluids. I use the animation which I have done for edX and I could see a sea change in understanding pattern of the students. So doing animation, as many animation as possible because we can show experiments now using animation. Uh, they may not be realistic animation but realistic experiments but for example, I, I can show you some things as an example and uh, you can possibly appreciate those things and lot of feedback have come regarding such things that yes we have understood it so well and we have never seen such kind of animation that can make things very simple to understand. For example, something which you learn possibly in uh, maybe 12th standard, phase diagram of water. This has been done by the team here just by giving feedback and now you can see this pressure volume and I can rotate this diagram the way I want which is not given in any books which is possibly not done till now, but I can zoom in zoom out and you can understand all the three phases of water solid, liquid, gas, vapor, then how does triple point, triple line etcetera. And I can have ortho orthographic projection also in two dimensions for example, in a PT diagram I can see the pressure and temperature diagram. And lot of people and lot of teachers who have done this course, they have said that we have read various books but this is for the first time that we could understand how these projections came about from three dimension to two dimensions. This is one of the examples. 
for example, we got a PV diagram here. So, you can see that entire thing get rotated and 8 to 10 minutes I could spend on this diagram just to make them understand how they can use it further to understand. So, I think this has immensely helped using all this uh, media and animation software that are available. But then again while making this software or making this three dimensional we have to constantly be in touch with this team who were making such animations because the mistakes can be done here also. But they have done a great job and we got fantastic feedback as far as the phase diagram is concerned. Also uh, I would like to show here one more experiment that is shown over here. Now I cannot show the experiment here because somehow this animation is not working on this, but if I start hitting water this is a small experiment here. You can see a small experiment animation where the water is kept in the beaker and it because this experiment has to be done at constant pressure as you can see phase change at constant pressure this weightless piston actually moves up so that the pressure is maintained constant when I start heating this water. Entire thing can be seen here when I click on this animation this is not working right now here, but you can see that if I start heating from point 1 which is shown in this figure and the temperature is has risen actually, but I could have shown you that the heating here there is a lot of good flame you can see that things changing over here and also you can see that the temperature is changing which I cannot show right now, but you can see that this is a constant temperature phase change process that is happening from vapor to liquid and then again it will go up and this is what happens at constant pressure. This can be very well understood when I am showing both these things together. So, I am changing temperature I am doing an experiment, but at the same time I am showing all that thing on a two dimensional diagram of pressure and volume. So, such things are very important if, if one takes such initiatives these are these are very important uh, animations or experiments that could be shown. So, that students can really appreciate very well. One of the feedback which I could read on my MOOCs was uh, if you triggered various faculty of our brain if you go monotonous we possibly trigger only one or two, but if we have such things I am talking at the same time I am showing an experiment at the same time there are color changes that are happening on your screen. The learning becomes very very fast and that is the feedback which really many of them have written on a discussion forum. So, please see that you are all coming from different disciplines and not that every discipline possibly can have such animation for example, management or thing like that, but you can have animation you can have some kind of a jokes or uh, some kind of cartoons. So, that uh, this could be conveyed in a much better way. So, importance of animation I found plenty and I realized that when I showed this in my regular class in IIT also well before that I was using all the time board only because this was ready I use this and everybody in the class literally 100 percent say that we would love to have such presentations in the class which of course, has taken a lot of time from many of us not possible, but over a period of time possibly we can build such lecture materials. Third thing also we could see that yes TAs are very important the students do help us, but sometimes I depended more on the students as far as the quizzes and everything is concerned. But again as I said that we have to be on the top of everything. So, everything smallest that is expected from TAs to be done we have to supervise that and that that is something uh, has to be really done meticulously which many of us fail because of other commitments, but that is the lesson I think it is very important that although we give a lot of tasks to the students and we had three layers of students who would check everything that was done, but then still I will say that 10 20 percent mistakes were still 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 were there which were detected later. So, that is a task that we can we can over depend on them we have to have the intermittent uh, meetings with them at the same time whatever they have done it has to go again through you through your eyes. Now, the important thing is committing a course and talking about the material uh, everything is sometimes you know uh, we like the idea so much that you know you overcommit also than what you can do, but before that you have to ensure that the infrastructure is in place and that is a very important thing. We get driven by a lot of temptations and everybody is uh, you know because of the because of the kind of teaching that you do and the reach of this outreach of this is fantastic. Considering that I am sure that everybody of us normally will get tempted, but at the same time one should ensure in especially the colleges that you are coming from the institute that you are coming from do we have all the infrastructure in place right. So, even we we lack on some infrastructure that is what I believe, 
Professor Gayatundi and my, myself had to repeat one lecture three times just because we had a barking of a dog outside our room, for example. And this was completely unexpected. In fact, he had to repeat once three times because the plane went from outside and uh, the barking and the students or whatever, the car went, yeah, or horns, something like that. Arcing of the spark plugs of that passing auto will throw your electronics out of care. Yeah, so that is a very important that do you have a acoustics, good acoustics at the same time noise level to be minimum and all those room which is required for a you know, sound proof room that, that requirement is very, very important for such things. I think that, that facility with good camera and all that thing, we have got fantastic uh, equipment absolutely no problem, but so sound proof room and everything are very, very important things that one should have here. Again, the last thing or one of the uh, uh, important thing I say that we are ultimately doing it for the students and all our rewards are based upon the fact that have the message really gone to the students, have they really understood. This is always a question, this is always a question everywhere and uh, important thing about that we are discussing not face to face and this is not really a replacement for the classroom teaching that is, that is for sure because you can't get spontaneous feedback or instant feedback. But at the same time whatever, are, whatever we are teaching is it taken that seriously from other side also because we are putting fantastic effort from our side. Now this feedback will take a lot of time possibly uh, over statistics and everything will come back. But looking at, uh, at the first level that we are doing right now, sometimes the message is uh, we are uh, like this right now, 60, 40 maybe. That 60 percent could be very, very interested. The 40 percent are trying to see, let us, let us do something from IIT Bombay or maybe they want a stamp of IIT Bombay or something like that because we are in a very beginning stage also. So moment they feel that some certificate will come from IIT, I might possibly have better chances of getting job also. That could be one of the attractions. But the, mat the matter can become more serious when we have possibly formal examination or a degree or a diploma to be given over a period of time. There we will understand are these students really serious. So moment we say that we are going to have a certificate course or a degree course or a diploma course, knowledge becomes secondary, passing that course becomes primary. So once you are, your attention is on passing of an exam, then you are possibly in a different direction. While once you say you are on knowledge, then your attention possibly could be on a different direction. Now these two things are actually separate. This is what we learn possibly over a period of time. As of now, I feel that they, most of the students possibly want to get attached to IIT Bombay for some reason or the other, maybe increasing their chances. But again, we are in a very, very early stage. When we become serious uh, offering degree courses and all that thing possibly, then things become more and more serious. But right now, I think instead of knowledge, we are, I mean, his experience also as soon as you give the lecture, we start getting question on the quizzes. Before they understand the lectures, they want to first start with the quizzes and when they are not getting the answer to the quizzes, they want to come back to the lectures. So it is a different approach basically. So first is to basically understand, ask questions regarding you know uh, some doubts that are raised or some, some uh, algorithms, uh, some concepts or something like that. But Every time the question has been about the quizzes, 60, 70 percent questions have been on quizzes. That means I understand that they want to first start with the quizzes and try to get answer through your lectures. That has to be really understood. At the same time, I, I just finished my two weeks and I got a few wishes from the teachers day that was very satisfactory from unknown places all over the world and uh, that was really encouraging to see that thing. I think this could be a definitely a future model of education in India, but this will take time to get mature, possibly maybe year or two and then uh, this will definitely turn to be a very important tool to reach out to a lot of students all across the world. So I will stop here, maybe a few questions on my this thing and. Uh, so the question is about the quizzes, yeah. why can't we just let them have quizzes until they actually uh, feel that they do not know anything and then let them have the content. Yeah, it is what is important knowledge is primary and business is primary and knowledge is secondary that is the question we have to answer first and accordingly we, our approach could be. I thought we all think here the knowledge first have the knowledge and then business are secondary thing possibly. So the moment we start giving certificates or degrees this will become very important. 
which is what we see in engineering that exams are very very important and everybody wants to stu study at the time of exams basically. So, that pattern seems to be uh, here also which will change or which may change over a period of time. Maybe we do should not release the quizzes in the beginning we should release only the lectures and this will actually evolve with experience. First make them understand and then only possibly we can have quizzes maybe ne next week or third week or whatever, but that that will come over a period of time only. I can't be an we can't give answers. So, general point is to understand that we must focus more of generating the understanding and yes. testing and evaluation this will, will follow later on. Although the quizzes is a feedback for me feedback for us also how much have they understood. So, as far as it is limited to having a feedback that is fine, but if it is a long questions then it becomes uh, other way around this. Students are you know uh, reading that uh, material there should be a some tracking provision on it before you know going through those lectures he or she should not be able to attempt the quiz. Yeah see now this will be evolved over a period of time. So, but the important message I always feel is that in your colleges in your institute you should find out professor Fartek and professor Gaithonde first and then you know evolve around them. Without that somebody has to really uh, dream uh, of such lectures such topics every day for months together then only such thing is possible. I would like to make a comment on what you said. Uh, first of all, I think that I will I will go back and relate to the both the established teaching learning pedagogy and what is considered ideal. As he said, an assessment is a secondary aspect of my entire teaching learning program. I have to give a certificate or something at the end that is the sole objective. Consider conventional training. Even in IIT or in any other university, you will find umpteen number of students who do not attend any classes. Just prepare for the exam, come for the exam and actually crack the exam very well, exhibiting that they have understood. I think the assumption that unless people study this, they should not appear for the quiz states something that I do not expect any student to learn on his or her own. I think that is not correct first of all. Secondly, while it is ideal that students should follow it, the choice must be left to them. There cannot be any compulsion. Thirdly, there is a huge lot of statistics available if students do not download videos, but if they watch things on EDX, then every interaction of the student with the platform is captured and is available to you for subsequent analysis. In fact, I did not mention it, but that is a gold mine for analyzing the students behavior in learning and our education technology department has a lot of PhD students who are actually going to work on that statistic. For each of your courses, the entire data would be made available to you. You can analyze it and lot of interesting things have been found out into hundreds of courses that have been given across. So, that is where the wisdom came that a large a long video is not watched by people. Yeah. That is where you can actually track that this student attempted this quiz without watching this lecture. You can know that and you can find out how these students have performed. Now, what has been observed curiously is that the students may not watch the lectures, but they have just glimpsed through the literature that is accompanying those lectures, possibly referred to papers outside the online thing and yet they have successfully answered questions in the quizzes. So, what is the idea? The idea is that the student should understand it. And as long as our assessment correctly estimates whether the student has understood it or not, it is alright if the student learns it from somewhere else and gives you a quizzes. Ideally, what you say should happen, the only thing that the platform does is it captures the interaction and it reports to you faithfully that which students went to the quiz directly, which students did that. But may I, not only me, but many of my colleagues are of the opinion that such things should not be compulsion driven. In fact, the very name of the site Swayam says, Swayam decides what to do. When Eklavya decided how he wanted to learn archery. Yeah, that, that's fine sir, if we are getting that analytics through yeah. this tool, that's yeah. fine. And I think once you get that analytics, uh, what we are doing that with the analysis, I'll tell you because the point that he makes is important. Ideally, we would like this sequence to be followed by student. What we do is, we find that this does not happen always. Now, where is it happening? So, a couple of things that we have noticed. 
a student actually starts looking at the video but gives up after two minutes and directly goes to some other material which means that there is some deficiency in the video that I have created it is not able to hold the attraction of the viewer for the full 10 minutes or 15 minutes so in such cases we mark those videos and say in the second offering we'll modify them we'll perhaps introduce one more interesting example or something the point he made about animation is extremely important it is not animation only of the technical uh, uh, experiments or such thing I have seen good I used to head the school of management for a year and I have seen some people would create not exactly animations but movements around spreadsheets giving data so they would they would show a spreadsheet first and rather than keeping the whole spreadsheet on the thing they will take out one row or they will take out one column and show how if this very is here this very is there so there is something which you cannot do on the blackboard which you cannot do on a book so there are a lot of innovations possible with animation used in a generic sense which can make the lecture better and I think with experience the teachers will learn how to make it better for example as uh, uh, Professor Atre said it is not that he ever used animation earlier but he tried it once he found it extremely useful and I'm sure that in the next offering they will add one or two more experiments they will add one or two more ways of describing the same thing again that is how our teaching also evolved. I'm sure that once we put the course material right then people will actually look at that first before appearing so this should happen naturally as a consequence of good instructional material design and uh, we have to address this medium the the digital medium is completely different from the conventional medium many of us uh, including us here have made the mistake of starting with the assumption that we will get whatever is written on the textbook or book make available on the thing similarly our concept of video has been whatever I give as a lecture capture it and give it now this is heavy under utilization of the power of the media we learnt it through our distance education program the people who actually understand it best amongst all of us are all open university people the open university people work asynchronously with their students they never work synchronously so therefore they have to apply their mind unfortunately they were also limited by the same book or uh, written uh, material as the back end so far but now things are changing so I will not expand on this but I think these few points that he made are very critical and you look at the amount of experimentation with the teachers team itself has been doing every time and that is what by the way although I digress but that is what I meant by saying that please buffer your faculty team from any administrative loan you ask Milin to write three drafts for getting approval from Dean R&D or arrange for a hostel accommodation or something he will do that well he does that as head of sign anyway but then half of his mind will move away from his basic thermodynamics uh, uh, expertise and so that is also another thing right. sorry Milin for it yeah. so I'll stop here